Okay, we got this 1.1 microfarad capacitor replaced here. Again, it went from the uh, 66, the uh, grid 3 over to the cathode, then the other side went to ground. And I replaced it because of its uh, proximity down here, uh, just to make it uh, easy to go ahead and knock out and be done with it. There was also a cold solder joint here, so there was really a poor connection over to the uh, grid 3. Uh, cathode looks like it had a nice uh, clean connection point so uh, I'm not sure if that created any intermittent issues with the radio reception or not um, but you can see I've got the uh, new electrolytic capacitors dressed in and um, again you've got all the values uh, facing towards you for future reference and again you can see the negative leads here this one goes to ground this one goes back to more of a floating type ground and uh, ties back into the uh, choke at some point. So there's a capacitor here that's uh, underneath this strip. We're going to explore it and see where it's at on the schematic itself and uh, get this uh, out next and then we'll just continue working our way uh, back toward the uh, audio side of the uh, radio. Okay, this capacitor here is a 0 0.01 microfarad and it actually ran from this terminal strip to here and this is actually the uh, antenna input and if we look at the schematic here and again I'll need to start highlighting these as we go here's your antenna lead which is uh, this lead here which will need to be replaced it goes through this 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor here and that's the connection point here that we're looking at so let me get this 0 0.01 uh, cap replaced and then uh, I definitely do want to do some testing too on this uh, volume control. I can see the leads have been uh, spliced on this wire that runs back over to the control itself. So we'll need to look at that. This particular schematic shows uh, 11 uh, ohm, which would be 11,000, I'm assuming, and uh, 15 ohm, which would be 15K. So we'll see what's in there. Again, I'm just looking for something in the middle or somewhere close to that value that may have not shown up just a minute ago so I'm referencing this schematic at this point in time so again 11k for the uh, uh, volume control potentiometer all right so let me get this uh, 0 0.01 cap here replaced again it runs between these two terminals and I think I'll go ahead and throw in a new uh, antenna lead wire as well. Okay, I've got this 0 0.01 now uh, placed in here the way I want it. And you can see, again, this other one was tucked underneath. I want to be able to see the values. So I've got it moved out. And again, you've, you can see the value here running uh, left to right. And then uh, the uh, antenna leads are usually in blue. So I've got... Uh, some pushback wire here it's solid just a little small jumper I'm going to attach it uh, right here and run it back through here tie a little knot in it so uh, let me do that then we'll solder this up again this is the uh, 0 0.01 microfarad uh, cap and one side goes back to the uh, antenna lead And you can see again, I've got a uh, heat sink on there as well because of the uh, close proximity to the uh, component. And we'll do the same here on this side. And let the solder flow back in. good. Let me let it cool down then we'll cut these uh, leads off the uh, point, uh, zero 0.01 cap. Okay, got that uh, point zero 0.01 cap installed and again you can see it's in a uh, legible position so if somebody needs to come back in here or I need to troubleshoot, I can see that. 
And again, I've got a little knot, slip knot tied in right here on the uh, new antenna lead. So uh, let me see what's up next. I might jump over to the uh, choke because I wanted to remove it, do some testing on it, just make sure it's good. And uh, looks like I need to clean up some of the wiring there anyway. You can see if it's showing up here on camera, if I'm not blocking the view, there's uh, looks like this has been taped up at some point in time. So I think I will kind of jump over there. Plus I want to go ahead and just make sure that my uh, schematic that I'm following for the uh, positive lead dressing is uh, spot on and it ties back over to the rectifier tube and the ballast and the choke as uh, indicated on the schematic I'm working with. So here's a look at that choke and now uh, you can see this one wire here that's uh, taped up. I'm assuming it's, I don't know, maybe it was damaged or something at some point in time. But uh, let me just uh, trace out uh, these connection points, match it up against the schematic and then I'll uh, cut this and then we'll throw some new lead on there and uh, get this tied back in. And uh, also we'll test the uh, choke. We'll look at the uh, DC resistance here on a meter and maybe do some additional testing as well. Yeah, connection points here on the schematic in just a minute but it appears to be correct at a glance. But anyway I'm reading about uh, 0.403k or 403 ohms. So. Um, that's probably uh, spot on. Let me grab my LCR meter and uh, let's see how many Henry's uh, this choke is and uh, we'll document that on the schematic just for reference if uh, someone else does a repair on a similar radio in the future. Go ahead and do a little quick repair here to the inductor and I just cut these back, stripped them and then we'll just tin these uh, wires here and again we checked it we've got good DC resistance and uh, we read around 8 Henry's on the uh, LCR meter for what it's worth all right we'll take some uh, I'll just use some brown wire here I'll go ahead and strip back You can see here it's tinning up nice. All right, let me let that cool just for a minute. Then uh, we'll make a coil. through as such and heat this up and just let the uh, solder run down through there. That looks good. We'll let that cool. We'll put some uh, heat shrink on it in just a moment. And I'll do the same here for the other side. Okay, I've got the uh, heat shrink here cut. Just one little small single piece. And that looks good there. Let's see if we can get my uh, little small micro heat gun. can see it's shrinking. Hopefully this is showing up now. Alright, let me get this other piece on. I 
Yep, same thing happened just a minute ago. It wants to fall off on you. Watch the old fingers. I think I'll uh, grab another piece and put it on there. Just make sure I'm well protected there, and we don't have a, uh, you know, an opportunity there for uh, that to be broken and uh, create some uh, AC short or excuse me DC short in the future. Okay, this worked out well. You can see I've got the uh, new leads attached, and again, uh, just use the coil method and with some heat shrink. And uh, let me just retest them now, just make sure I've still got uh, good continuity on the uh, DC resistance side. And we'll get this remounted into the uh, chassis after I get this one capacitor replaced here that's uh, sitting underneath the uh, underneath side of the uh, choke.